doing the hand hygiene. Hello Jeff, uh, my name is Banka, I'm one of the RNs here. How are you feeling today? I'm good, thanks. Good. So we are, you're going to have a blood transfusion today and I just wanted to check if you know and understand uh, why you're having the blood transfusion. Yes, I do. The doctors have explained it to me this morning. That's good. So uh, can you tell me your full name? Jeff Saunders. And your date of birth? 1st of the 8th, 1930. Good. And are you allergic to anything? Not that I know of. Good. So I just want to make sure that um, you have, uh, we have the consent for your blood transfusion. So is this your signature here? Yes, it is. Okay, Jeff. So we just need to take your observation now, just to check your temperature and blood pressure, just to see as if it's okay. And then um, we do the ops now for the baseline to chart in our observation chart just so that we have something to compare to later. And then somebody will have to go to the blood bank and get the blood. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Jeff. Hello. So I'm one of the registered nurses on the ward. We're doing a blood transfusion for you today. So just want to inform you that we've got the blood from the blood bank. And I'm going to check it with the RN, saying all the details are correct. So, can I have you please? Thank you. Before checking the blood from the blood bank, we all before giving the transfusion, we all, always have to check the pack number, the group num, uh, the group, the blood product, and the expiry date and the volume. So I'm going to check the blood pack number, which would be double one triple zero. Yep, double one triple zero. Group is B positive. B positive, yep. Blood product is red blood cells. Red blood cells. Expiry date is 7th of the 12th, 2013. Expiry 7th of the 12th, 2013. And the volume is 200 mils. Volume 200 mils. Yep. Thank you. Mr. Jeff, I also want to check your name and your date of birth, please. So can I have your full name? Jeff Saunders. Yes, and your date of birth would be? 1st of the 8th, 1930. Yes, and are you allergic to anything? Not that I know of. Okay. Also, Mr. Jeff, I would be doing some observations on you, like your temperature, your heart rate, and your blood pressure. Yep. We need to take the baseline observation prior to the blood transfusion, and also it has to be as close as possible to the trans before doing the transfusion. Okay, so now we're going to administer the red blood cells. So, before I do anything, always do hand hygiene. And we need to put on um, personal protective equipment. We're dealing with blood here, bodily fluids. So, gloves. apron just in case there's any splashes that occur and I might have cuts or anything on me. And some goggles to protect your eyes. So we've gained consent already and um, identified that the right person is getting the right blood um, and there's a right order and everything is good. Just going to flush the line to uh, make sure the cannula is flowing correctly. So checking with another nurse that it's sodium chloride 0.9% and it expires February 2013. So first do an alcohol swab to make sure the site is free from microbes. And then we flush slowly with some normal saline. Yep, it's flowing correctly. So next we do the blood. Um, check that we have a Y tubing. So Y tubing has two entry points. Which are these two? First, we close off everything. 
and try not to let the tip touch anything that's infectious. So check that we have normal saline with another RN, 100 mils, um, and it expires January 2014. Cool, so we've closed off everything, and now we're going to prepare the saline. So we spike the saline first. Bring that off. Start to open and prime the line. So we've primed the line already and the injection site has already been sterilized. So we're able to connect it up and open up all the sites. And that's flowing great. Now we um, do the blood, which is this. So we spike the blood and do the cut. Hang it up and open it up. and watch it go through and watch it mix with the saline and eventually reach the arm. So it's advisable for the nurse to stay inside the room for the first 15 minutes. Um, so you tell the patient, Mr. Saunders, could you please let me know if you feel feverish or if you um, feel any change in your breath or your heart rate um, because that's actually a sign of reaction that you're getting. Um, in that case, we'll call the doctors and um, seize the transfusion immediately. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Um, so you continue to monitor the patient and um, make sure that there are no reactions occurring. Hi. Sabina, one of the island working here. Hi, Sabina. Hello. How are you feeling today? Mm, pretty okay. Okay, it's only been 15 minutes of blood transfusion. Do you, do you have any reaction till now? Uh, no, I don't feel any different from before. Oh, that's good then. Let me check your cannula. So, everything is good. Uh, Jeff, I'm going to increase from 5 mils to 60 mils per hour because like blood transfusion has to finish in 4 hours. Now it will take 3 hours, 20 minutes to finish your blood transfusion. Okay. Hello, Jeff. Uh, how are you now? Feeling okay. Okay, your blood transfusion has finished. So do you have any reaction? Feeling any different from last? Oh, that's good then. I have to quickly flush your cannula just to prevent any blood clot. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's done. Now I'm going to dispose all the used materials, equipment according to the hospital policy.